So do you need to be able to find matches between two different Google Sheets? In this example, we're going to use a sales sheet here and compare it to a shipped. And we want to be able to find both our shipped sales and what still remains. So the first thing we're going to do is pull this data over into our second sheet. Now, one thing to keep in mind is it could be possible to streamline this if you only need to see shipped or not shipped on here, in which case you could use a VLOOKUP and I'll link to that video in the description below. Otherwise, we can go ahead and continue. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to bring that data over here in a new tab. We'll just call it data. And I'm going to copy these column headers. Come over here. I'm going to do paste values only just to pull that data over here. And then let's go ahead and remove the rest of these columns. So hold down shift, right click, delete columns. So then the way we're going to get this data over here is using an import range. And then inside of import range, the first thing we need is a spreadsheet URL inside double quotes. And so that would just be this. So you can take the whole thing or you can remove this end part if you like. So it's really up to you. We're going to go ahead and do the whole thing and then I'll just delete it over here. So just like that, double quote to close. And then now we need a range string. So range string can be the tab name here. So this would be sales and then the range, which in this case we a two through F. Or if you have a table, you can use just the table name. So we'll go ahead and use the tab name here. So sales and then a two to F just like that. Hit enter. You may see a ref error here, and if you do, it's just because you need to add permissions. And so once you click allow access, then that data will pull through. And that is something you only have to do one time. All right, so once we have the data here, now we can use it to populate these tabs. So for example, on the ship sales. So we're gonna filter this data. And so I need A2 through F. And then I need to match this ID column to our ID column in our shipped. And so the way we would do that is using the match function. And so then again, I'm going to select this first column here. And so you need to make sure the rows match. And so of course we want to start in two and I'm going to drop that end reference. So we have the same on both of these. And then next we're going to go to our shipped tab and we can select that column. And so this is a table and so it's changing it to table reference. So that's fine. Otherwise remove that end row reference there. And then to finish out our match function, we're going to use zero because we want an exact match. And so that's pretty simple formula there. And this is going to return all of our shipped sales. So if we look over here, 1001 or 10,001 through 10,008. There we go. And if we look over here, we have nine and 10. So those should be the ones that show up here on the to be shipped. So how do we populate the inverse? So I'm going to go ahead and copy this formula come over here and paste this. And then all we need to do is put is an A in front of this match, hit enter. And there we go. And that basically flips it around and finds everything that does not match. So one thing to keep in mind here is that when you populate this filter, we're going to return the data that we're specifying right here. And so, for example, I want to return this data. And so that's what we're doing here. And then when you go to the match, you want to make sure you're going to the same tab, the same data source first, and then you can go to where you're matching just like that. And then let's take a look at one more thing here. So what happens if you don't have an ID column or perhaps this is a shipment ID and then this one's a sales ID? then how would you match that? So one thing potentially you could match is customer name if you have unique names. And so basically what you need to do is find a unique way to identify. And so if customer name, maybe you have customer email, something like that, that's unique. And then you can match using that. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at what this will look like to match using a different criteria. So let's just say customer name was the unique identifier. In that case, you would just change these columns to columns with the customer name. So this would be column C. And so we'll change it to column C. And then if we hit enter, we're going to have none because we're still comparing to order ID over here. So we could change this to customer name. It's like that. And there we go. Now we're back in business.
So you can use whatever criteria. You can even use multiple columns as well. And so, for example, if there's something like a date and a customer name, which on the shipped, we don't have that order date. But if we did, we could use that instead. And so let me just show you real quick. I'll use the order ID. I'm going to show you how to combine two criteria. So in that case, we do something like this. So we do data A and data C. And then here we're going to do shipped. And if we hit enter, it's still not right yet because I need to change that to order ID. So let's change this to order ID. And there we go. Now we're back in business. And so you can use multiple columns if you have to in that match. And you can see what's happening here. It's combining that order ID and the name into one match thing. And it's going to go through and match both those columns and the other one. That's how you can match if you need to use multiple columns, if you don't have a unique identifier that allows you to match. All right, so that is it for today's video. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.